Hi everyone, Brett back. High altitude scale modeling. <clears throat> Brand new Mang New Tool F18E Super Hornet 48 scale Ludo Cactulus series LS012 14 and over officially licensed Boeing product. Beautiful artwork. Side of the box with the color call outs VFA 87 Golden Warriors from the USS George H.W. Bush. A little bit about the aircraft, a little bit about the kit. It's got a complete cockpit, wheel wells, air intakes, flaps, and sides can be installed in different positions, moving tails, rudders. Specifically designed pluggable pylons which allow an easy change of weapons. And my favorite squadron, the Tomcatters. Let's see what we get. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, clear, pins, clear, clear, decals, book. Alright, move this out of the way. And, oh, they're doing it to me again, using staples. Staples. Here we have the upper fuselage. <clears throat> now I just got this in from Japan. No, China, Hong Kong. And I bought it because I do not ask model companies for kits. I'd rather they spent their money on other things and given me free models. There you go. Ming 2020. Hopefully that's not going to interfere with the wing. But you can see dazzling rivet detail. Not going to be a seam line on the top of this baby. Good venting detail back there. Hold wash nicely. So far, we're starting out really good, but it's main. What do you expect? Alright. Now, I think I'm going to lose my patience with these staples any minute now. So you've got a whole bunch of poly caps that I'm not going to take out because I don't want to lose them of various sizes, which is obviously for the weapons they called out for. Here is the bottom of your fuselage, which again, wonderful detail of the access patches, the rivets, the venting. Looks straight, even. For all you F-18 fans, you know we had the kinetic ones came out a couple of years ago, which looked really well. Not this level, but looked really good. And of course there's Hasegawa. Could have been around for a long time. There's... Uh, Ravel does a 48 one. They just did a um, 48 of the new Top Gun. Mavericks aircraft, but it's an old kit. As I said, I was going to get tired of the staples. Now, if I had a sharp knife. So, it looks like this is the tail fins, control surfaces, <clears throat> sprue. B. I like how big they make that. 
you can easily come in here well if I had a pen around and write in there B so again really good rivet detail slime line detail venting You may have to worry about a seam line putting these together, but if it's like Meng's normal fit, you won't. So, put your slats, your flaps, your ailerons, your flapperons. There is the beautiful detail on the tails. And you've got your rudders. Not sure what these are for. As you can see they're vented really nicely. <coughs> the other side going together. You can see how they're going to mount in. These are one sided, or two sided, sorry, one piece. These obviously going to here. And you can see they did polish out. Some of the raised ejector pin marks on all these inside of all these tail sections look like someone took a sander to them all. Nice touch. And where do I go next? Let's go to some fuselage halves. The nose is loose. Doesn't look like it was damaged by coming loose. It just broke off of there. Good angle to it. Looks like it might be able to open to show the radar. Get a little more. There we go. It came off of right here on sprue A, which has the two halves of the fuselage and the intakes. Well, the detail on this control panel looks great. Rester hook looks great. These here, I'm not sure what they are. Maybe chaff dispensers, maybe not, but the detail on the access panels, riveting along here, more slime lines in the fuselage. Again, detail goes all the way around. Doesn't bleed out like kids used to do. More venting detail. These just, just look really nice. Other side intake. Various parts. There's your arrestor hook, which does not appear to have any burring on it. There's that beautiful instrument panel. Control stick. Coming for the front. The inside. There's no real detail on the inside, but you can see where the cockpit will go. this back in so I don't lose the nose cone. <clears throat> and we have more intakes. The inside of the intakes. And the inside of the cockpit walls, the landing your struts, the landing your bays, landing your doors, tiny little Actuator arms. Inside the intakes there are ejector pin marks, so if you're going to think you're going to see them, you're going to need to clean those up. They are raised. But I'll show you that. I'm not sure how much you'd actually see them because of the way they're positioned. But, check it out and see. This is the back. So here when you all your gear doors with no ejector pin marks on them. Your wheels are obviously in halves. Some more of your doors. No ejector pin marks on the inside of those. 
very nice touch. Uh, it don't, doesn't look like weight on wheels, but the detail inside of all the, actually I don't think this is any cockpit detailing, this is all landing gear bay detail. And it looks like you had a boarding ladder. And I don't see maybe the slightest bit of burring on landing your struts. Yeah. Take a little pan around so you can see the actuator arms. That's got to be the front wheel bay. It's got to be the main gear bays. There's a bulkhead. Some hoses around this way. See all these tiny actuators. I mean, that's how small they are. Beautifully detailed landing gear struts. Like I said, there might be the tiniest bit of burring on them, but as you can see from there, nothing to get yourself all worried about. And we're going to go with some wing parts. So you've got your wings there. You can figure out. So these have to be the lower wings because the upper wings were part of the fuselage. One of the pylons or sniper pods, maybe. But again, exquisite rivet detail. They sanded out the ejector pins on here and here. So that's where you're going to put the changeable pods, pylons. Good light shining on the rivet detail of all this and all this. It's not overdone. It's going to hold a wash nicely. All right. So I am going to open with the staple side because there's two screws in this bag. And they are new. They are matching sprues. Two identical. This comes with two pilot figures. So we'll look at one of these. Your engines. First stage compressor blades, some pylons, an ejector seat. The arms of your pilot in various poses, because there's three arms, and I don't think there's any three-armed people. There's four arms, and I don't think there's any four-armed people. So you can pose them. Um, looks like two different heads. One with the hose, one without the hose. Nice touch. There's your ejector seat. Side of your ejector seat. Your front tire is one piece, and then this is your other rear wheel, main wheel. Uh, no ejector pins inside of there. You got a fuel tank, two of them. Pylons are in halves. This is a half of one wheel, I'm guessing the other half's on the other side. There's part of your engine, part of your ejector seat, a couple nozzles. Looks like we got the, I'll turn it over and look, there's three of your arms, this way, next to the pilot is your fourth arm, there's your one head without the hose, your other head with the hose, I'm assuming, we'll check it out more when we get into it, besides the ejector seat, the outside of your ejector seat, and the lovely detail on the pylons, and one piece elevators, 
horizontal stabilizers. Pylon. Wheels. More pylons. Compressor blades. There's two engine nozzles. And there's two more on the other pylon, of course. Or the other sprue. The seat. There's your pilot's body. Heads. There's the detail on the top of it. And then on the bottom of it. Like I said, matching sprues of those. <clears throat> now we're going to get into the smaller sprues. This is your cockpit, your canopy hatch. And maybe the back of your cockpit. So, nice cockpit detail. And then you're going to attach your canopy. What else we got here? Looks like these are all weapons. So, we got two sprues of this one. Tail fins are separate. And two sprues of SMI. And two sprues of SMJ. And two sprues of SGM. These are all very nicely detailed. And that's it for those. Okay, you've got the pins. Putting in your pylons, taking them out. You've got lights. They're all separate. You've got... Some of these are seeker heads, I'm sure. And then you've got in the staple bag, which we're going to be careful taking out, it's the canopy. I want to get rid of these staples. Before I take the canopy out, okay, and it's double wrapped. It's like saran wrap almost, and it does not want to let you in. I think there'd be a seam around it. I sure don't want to turn my knife up it. Found the seam. So this is the front windscreen. And, as with all good new kits, it's built into the fuselage. So you won't have a seam line going around this edge. You'll hook this in. I don't know if you can see, but it's got really nice rivet detail all around it. It's amazingly clear and pretty thin. No real distortion. Perfect clarity. Dang nice. And we're just going to roll that right back up. So we're going to have a better chance, better luck getting the
and I've read this all wrong. Come on. It is. It's saran wrap. So, I guess I may have read that all wrong. This looks like the front windscreen. And then this would be the main one that lifts up. Okay. Your HUD displays on there. And some more lights. But again, amazingly clear. And thin. Slide molded. So well done, Mang, on your clear parts. Okay. And here we have the decals. Some photo etch. Weapons decals, printed by Cartograph. And it comes with a mask set. Nice touch for the wheels. And looks like for the canopy. Nice touch, man. Tiny little bit of photo fridge. Looks like afterburner rings and some venting. And cartograph decals. Beautiful. I mean, these are amazing. Your cockpit instrument panel decals. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but those are beautiful. This whole sheet's beautiful. Those in there. I'm put these underneath. And we get the only thing in a resealable bag, the instruction book. Now Mang lately has taken a, a cue from Wing Nut Wings and added a little, little like, we can put it in a binder, three rings there. And talks about in Asian, I'm assuming Chinese, and then about the development. If you want to pause and read, pause and read. This is in Russian. Interesting. And the instruction book. Beautiful color. There's your warnings. You're going to start with the cockpit. <clears throat> Excuse me, your mouth got dry. There's your decals on the instrument panel, cockpit, color call outs. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're going to do the main landing gear bay. Then the two fuselage halves together. Then you start working on the wings and the fuselage and the venting. Then your intakes. Then the lower half of the fuselage with the main landing gear bays. So your intakes go on top of your landing gear bays. And they all go into the lower half of the fuselage. And then your intakes for the side of the fuselage. Putting the upper, lower, and the front together. This is so modular, you know there are going to be other variants. And then you're combing with your heads-up display and the angles it needs to be at. And then 
you know they're gonna make other variants because you pop that off and you put it in the double cockpit and no there is no radar dish for the nose cone so that doesn't stay open your positionable flaps retracted position keep in mind there's something you have to remove and your flaps extended position wing unfolded position and flap retracted position, flap extended position wing folded position so you can have the wings folded starboard wing fold, vertical fin and exhaust nozzle assembly And then there's your photo etch afterburner ring. Finish putting on the aft fuselage with your vertical fins, your nozzles, horizontal stabilizers. <clears throat> so your landing gear can all go in after you've painted it up. So there's your front landing gear getting done. There's your main landing gear getting done. Your main landing your door assembly and there's your pylon assembly there are the pins if I miss something here no because we didn't put the bottoms of the wings on yet and it didn't ask for any weight in the nose either so anyway, there's the metal pins are going in the pylons. There's your weapons. They get polycaps, small polycaps. And there's your AIM 9X and your AIM 120s. An ASQ pod. AIM 9M. <coughs> I don't see how you would use pins for those. So maybe it's just the pylons that get the pins. The fuel tanks get pins. This pylon gets pins. This pylon gets pins. So it's the pylons that are swappable. And then these two GBUs. And then you're working on your ejector seat, which is never seen done at the very end. And then your pilot. Going in if you want them to, your antennas, your canopy, boarding ladder if you'd like, sprue map, mask set. So you do that and then you gotta mask the rest with liquid mask. Painting guide, stencil guide for Tom Catters. Version one. And for Tom Catters version two. Low viz on CAG and Golden Warriors and Pilot Unknown Tactical Instructor Program 2019 so Tactical Instructor Aircraft 2019 Weapons Decals Color Call Out again that is that. So there you have it. My first sprue review of the new Mang FA-18E. Brand new tool. Kit from Mang. 48 scale. Hornet. Who doesn't love a good Hornet? Now, from the looks of it, it's modular, so there's going to be other variants of this. 
This is licensed under Boeing. It's beautiful. I can't wait for all of you to get your hands on it. Should be in America soon and the rest of the world just as soon. Thanks for watching. Get your ass to the chair and build a